Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and today we're playing The Wolf Among Us. I'm so happy to be back. This game is actually one that's been a long time coming. Trust me, I've had this in my library since like January of this year and it's December now. So we have a lot to cover from the last episode. So I'm going to get into the recap of what happened because there's a lot. This game is very lore heavy. There's a lot going on. So I'm gonna have to be talking for a while. I hope you guys don't mind. In the last episode, we were introduced to our main character, Bigby Wolf, who I thought was named Bigsby. He's not. <laughs> He's the sheriff in a section of New York City called Fable Town, which is home to, you guessed it, fables. And these fables are creatures and characters from stories that I'm sure most of us are familiar with from our childhood, like Little Red Riding Hood, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella. Big B is a werewolf, and he was, in the old days, the big bad wolf that we hear in stories. And so for that reason, a lot of fables don't really trust Big B because he's definitely had a shady past, to say the least. But he's slowly trying to earn the trust of the citizens of Fable Town. And me, I'm trying to be good guy Big B. I feel like you can so easily be a dick in this game, but I'm trying to be a good guy. <laughs> For a little bit, I thought maybe these characters are just descendants of their ancestors from these fables, but I'm pretty sure all of them are the originals. I haven't even covered what happened, so <laughs> at the beginning of the episode, we were called in by Mr. Toad, or maybe just Toad, I don't know, but he owns this tenement building. He called in Big B because of a disturbance happening in one of his rooms. When we went upstairs, we saw that the disturbance was the woodsman, another character, or another fable, beating up this woman who at first seemed just like a prostitute in his room. So Big B broke up their argument and tried to get more out of this girl, but she wasn't really saying anything. The woodsman, though, kind of woke up and started insulting everyone so Big B threw him out the window. That was not my choice, it just sort of happened. We landed on Toad's car, so sorry Toad. He was still alive though, so these fables are extremely durable, which is good to know because I am scared of killing off characters, but now that I know that they're a little tough, more tough than regular people, to say the least, makes me feel a little better about possibly getting Big B killed. Eventually, we subdued the woodsman and we were able to talk to this girl a little more. She still wasn't really saying anything, but she did say that she needed money from this guy, she needed $100, or else she was going to be in trouble. So, in my opinion, it seems like she's working for someone and maybe this organization is against her and you'll see why in a bit. Big B tried to give her some money. I think we gave her like $58 or something like that. When we got back to Big B's apartment, we were stopped by Beauty, who was hiding in the trees by the apartment. I was thinking her name would just be Belle, but I guess it's just Beauty. I don't know, maybe she called herself Belle in front of regular people. I don't know. But she was hiding from Big B, and when we asked her what was going on, she didn't really tell us. People are so secretive in this game. She asked us not to tell her husband, Beast, what was going on, but I didn't make any promises, didn't want to get involved just yet. I don't know what's going on fully. I didn't want to, you know, promise something that I couldn't keep. I just didn't know where I stood yet, so I didn't want to say anything, you know? We went back up to Big B's room, and there we met Colin, who was one of the little pigs that Big B terrorized in the past. We interacted with him a bit. He didn't want to go back to the farm, but he didn't want to buy a glamour, so he was sort of just stuck there and Big B kind of told him off. Didn't really get into it that much. I kind of messed up their interactions a little bit. I was sort of a dick to him and I didn't mean to be, but uh, hopefully it doesn't matter too much. In the middle of the night, we were woken up by Snow White, who was knocking on our door and is apparently one of our colleagues or coworkers. She rushed us outside and outside of the apartment building was the head of the lady who we helped in the beginning of the game. So her death is sort of the catalyst for everything that's happening now. Her head was neatly placed on the steps outside of Bigby's apartment, so obviously it was a message to them and no one was trying to hide it. Her head was kind of cleanly chopped off, it looked like with an axe, so my first guess was the woodsman, but I feel like it's way too obvious. But he was the last person to have seen her too. I really don't know who could have done it. I mean, we saw some scraps of fabric around the area. Part of me, I don't know why, is 
low-key suspicious of Snow White just because she was the one to have found the head and I don't want it to be like a twist like that and I feel like I'm really reaching here. I'm always like in my head thinking of who's the person that you would least suspect because it's usually that person. We covered up the body and we asked Snow White not to report it to Ichabod Crane who is the head leader I don't know if he's the mayor or whatever, but she went and told him anyway and he was pissed at her. One of his helpers was Buffkin, who is from the Land of Oz. He was one of the flying monkeys and he helps out with the library there and sort of sorts through everything and helps them find things that they can't normally find. With his help, we sorted through books of fables and tried to figure out who this girl is. One of the clues that we found was one of her rings had a symbol on it that was sort of like a family crest, so we were able to link that to a story in the book of the donkey skin girl who apparently was trying to run from her father because her father's wife died, her mother, and he was looking for a new bride and the only one that could match her beauty was her his daughter, which was really messed up and I totally didn't even like register that in the game for some reason. I think I zoned out for a little bit when they were talking, but yeah, it's really messed up. And so no wonder she escaped him. She met up with a prince um, named Prince Lawrence and eventually fell in love and moved to Fable Town, which is where she died. Our next clue was Prince Lawrence, who unfortunately did not seem like he was doing so well. We looked in the magic mirror and saw that he had a knife beside him and he didn't look so good. Before going to his house though, we got a call from Toad again, saying that there was someone in the woodsman apartment again, who was going through their things and making a huge ruckus and all that. We had the choice whether to go to Prince Lawrence's place or Toad's place. I chose Toad because it seemed like that was a little more urgent because it looked like to me Prince Lawrence was already dead in the mirror. I don't know if I made the right decision or not. I don't know. There's really no way to know but I, I have a feeling that was a huge decision that would probably have impacted the game a lot. When we got to Toad's place we saw someone up in the apartment but before we got up there he had already escaped. We went back downstairs and talked to Toad who seemed to be hiding something and was acting extremely suspicious. I thought he was hitting his son at first and I was really pissed at him because his son was crying and we had Snow take his son out of the room and we interrogated Toad a little bit. We looked around the room, there was blood on the wall, it was all, it was very strange, it wasn't really adding up. Eventually we got him to confess that there was someone in the house and he had threatened Toad. I can't exactly remember why this guy was in their apartment, I don't know what he was looking for exactly. It might have been her cloak, which we ended up discovering, her donkey skin cloak. Inside was a letter uh, addressed to Prince Lawrence, but we didn't open it. Instead, we took it back to Prince Lawrence's apartment in hopes to give it to him himself. But upon arriving, Prince Lawrence was pretty much barely clinging to life, and I don't know if I, if I went there first he would have survived. I don't know. Maybe. Probably, actually. Um, so I, I feel really bad about that, and I probably should have visited him instead. But, you know, oh well. We did get some information. We saw that Prince Lawrence basically killed himself in many different ways. Because they're fables, I think it takes a lot for them to die. He drank himself to death, he took sleeping pills, he had a knife, he had the gun, and it, it was a lot. It was a huge mess of the scene. I still don't know whether he killed himself because of his wife dying or because he did something to her and he killed himself because of the guilt. Either way, after searching through the apartment a little bit more, we opened a closet and out came this giant dude who was Tweedledee. We cornered him at one point and tried to get him to answer to what he was doing in there. He tried to play it off like he was an investigator, but we know that's not true. He was covered in blood. Before we could get anything out of him, Tweedledum came up behind us and knocked us out. This sounds like so weird when I'm saying it out loud, but that's what really happened in the game. And we woke up to snow over top of us, like being like, hey. I basically had to leave it off there. Um, we did make it to a bar. I kind of forgot what we were doing there. I think we were looking for the woodsman in the bar and that's what because we saw him in the magic mirror. I don't really know what's gonna happen. I, I do want to talk about some theories that I have but I'll talk about it in the actual gameplay because I've been talking way too long in this intro. So let's not waste more time and let's get back into this game and see what happens next. Okay we're back into it but first off Archer. There she is. You guys haven't seen Archer in a long time, so I figured I should 
You guys can't even really see her. Archer, look, look. Look at look at the camera. Look at the camera. She wants the apples that are on my desk, but uh Okay, she's typing the keyboard. Can we not? I'm trying to get down. Time to get down. Yeah, Archer Archer's a big girl now. You guys haven't seen her in a while, so I wanted to show her off a little bit. So yeah, um I just realized that I really haven't even talked about my theories. Sorry, Archer's messing around. I haven't really talked about my theories or anything that I think, I don't know, like my thoughts and my feelings about the game. I basically just talked about the recap and like what happened story-wise, but I haven't really talked about like what I think. I think this game is great so far. I think the style is just amazing. I love the graphics. I mentioned this many, many times, but this is my first Telltale game and I just really enjoy everything about it so far. I really like it. It's definitely something where it's a bit surprising because I, I don't know, I've just never really been interested in, in Telltale games till now. So um, as far as like theories about what happened or what's going on, I don't really know. That's why I, I haven't really mentioned much. I think I might have to play a little more till I really realize like what's going on. Hold on, player choices. Can we look at this real quick? Okay. Did you give Faith your money? You and 84.5% of players gave Faith your money. So the other thing too is uh, Bluebeard is a character that was mentioned. And he's like sort of a crime lord in this area, I guess. Um, or he was, and he's like trying to put it behind him and whatnot. So I'm wondering if she, if Faith worked for Bluebeard or something, because she was really worried about the money and was kind of, I don't know, it seemed like she was scared of someone or something, like if she didn't have that money something bad would happen to her, that sort of thing. And I'm wondering if Bluebeard kind of is trying to send a message by doing that, but to, but why, <laughs> you know, is he like, does he feel threatened by Big B, Bluebeard? Um, cause Big B is... Big Bad Wolf, did you tell Beast the truth about beauty? You and 19.5% of players tried to stay out of it, so not many people did, I guess. Um, you and 69.2% of players went to help Toe before Prince Lawrence. Okay, so a lot of people did. You did not prevent Prince Lawrence's death. Oh, it can be prevented! No! Who is your prime suspect? You and 26.8% of players didn't say anything to Snow. So this is our suspect list. Prince Lawrence, the Woodsman, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Who's the guy in the middle? I don't know who that is. Okay, I'm gonna let Archer out of my room. <laughs> if I had to guess any of these people, it would probably be Bluebeard. If not him, maybe he uh, ordered someone to do it. He seems powerful. So he could have prevented Prince Lawrence's death. Shit. All right, Book of Fables. I'm just making sure we're ready before we continue. Prince Lawrence. Oof. I am sorry, bro. Glamours. Oh, so that's what that lady really looks like? That's crazy. Okay. We just met her, though. After escaping the homelands, Prince Lawrence and his wife, Faith, immediately fell victim to the harsh realities of the mundane world. They moved to New York, hoping to find an aid in community of fellow fables, but without enough money to live in Fable Town, they had to settle on the apartment on the outskirts of the neighborhood. Oh, unfortunately that meant they were out of sight and out of mind when it came to government assistance. Their prospects dwindling, Faith left Lawrence to try to make it on her own. Oh. Now without his wife for support, Lawrence struggles to motivate himself and quickly sinks into depression. Dang, so she was probably working as a prostitute to make it on her own. And that's maybe why he... Huh. So maybe he was just depressed anyway? And he was gonna do it anyway, whether she died or not? And that's sort of what sent him over the edge? Huh. Okay, so... So maybe he wasn't trying all these different things to kill himself. I mean, maybe he was before, like, to slowly do it, and he, he had the sleeping pills, the alcohol. But maybe when Tweedledee mentioned that his wife died, that's what sent him over the edge and made him shoot himself. I don't know. Oh god, the Tweedle brothers, Dumb and D, are thugs for hire. They appear human, allowing them to carry out their contracts in the Mundy world without drawing suspicion. 
They are inseparable as they are ruthless. Wow. I have talked for so long. Let's just actually play. <laughs> okay, we're still in episode one. Trip Trap. Okay. Yeah, we haven't even made it to episode two, which I assume we will start soon. <laughs> we will start in this episode, I promise. I really don't think there's much of episode one left. It's just I need to stop it last time because it was very long. Well, let's see. We're in the Bronx. Okay, it didn't fully save this part. I guess. I remember I told her I was looking for the woodsman. Hmm. Yeah, what I told her want, woodsman. Sheriff? I'm looking for the woodsman. I probably well, shouldn't have told her that, here. but I didn't want to change so it. I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice, so try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. <laughs> no, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all. Is that which, guy working for him? I don't know. Uh, does he tell you when to close to you? Yeah, that's what I said. Does he tell you when to close to? Nope. And he doesn't okay. tell me when yeah, to close to Yeah, this is where we left off. off. Alright, well, let's look around a little bit. Matchbook. Oh! Yeah, we did find that matchbook. A lot of these walk <laughs> out the door? <laughs> yeah, it's called He's advertising. So done. Ham's ape nuts. Fuck you. <laughs> what the fuck? What's getting out? I have to empty glass. Oh, someone was here. Whose is that? Why didn't you dump it? Someone who Don't left. lie to me. Is he coming back? Why didn't you dump it? If you that guy was at the police place, station. Interesting. Feel free to get the fuck out of here. I'm sensing a very hostile tone from you. I don't know about that. Don't deny it. I'm good at picking up on this. Well, there's pictures here. Okay, so we found the matchbook. Can we talk to her about it? We found it right outside his apartment. Peace ring. Scrap of fabric. Can we play pool? <laughs> I'll leave you to it. I'm gonna play pool. Oh. G R W D. Wood. <laughs> Is that what that means? You guys playing right now? It's interesting. Nah. H. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. H. Well, that'd be you, Holly. So, who's W D? No mm -hmm. idea. Because it's also the first letter in the name. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Erase. No, no, wait. Well, I don't want to erase it. If you're not playing, <laughs> then you don't mind if I... Uh... <laughs> He's such a dick. He's such a dick. I love him. Hmm. Okay. Cigarette machine. Oh, I guess I'll buy one. Damn. Or not. <laughs> I guess I'm out. Huff and puff. Isn't that what was in our fridge? I thought that was food, not cigarettes. Okay. A yeah, what's that say? Ham's Ape Nuts. Live in concert. L Brandstock Tavern. Okay. What? <laughs> Pickled eggs. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just <laughs> trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. I agree. Although I've never had pickled eggs. I like pickles. Do they taste like... that? <laughs> I don't know. 
Hmm. There he is. Looks like her in the background, so they're probably close. He a regular? I don't know who you're Lady. talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. You're literally in the picture with him. And you're playing darts. And he was probably right here. A lot of stools in this yeah, place. Yeah, I know. Yeah, only one next to you. I don't want to have to yell. You got a problem, friend? <laughs> I don't like you. And now you're sitting right next to me. You could ask me to move. Yeah. You're gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother? I can do customers? both. Don't underestimate me, lady. You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lot? <laughs> no. No. Well, I don't got any Well, anyway. fine then. <laughs> I didn't want any. Think that's funny? Yep. I think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Help me help you. Harboring fugitive could cost you. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of here. Is he literally inside here? I'm pretty sure. She seemed pretty spooked. I'm gonna have to do QTEs, aren't I? Or not? It's a misdirect, is it? Is it? Or not? Oh, okay. Holly, you're out of paper towels and. The... Hey, hey, buddy. <laughs> What's up? How are ya? Oh shit. Number two. Uh. Saved your beer for you. <laughs> Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. <laughs> He'll be back. Now, here you are. <laughs> you and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through. Wow, five. really? Come quietly. Uh, I'm not sure. Eh, it makes two of us. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. <laughs> Ooh, you want to fight, pal? Don't fuck with me. Uh. I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? What are you, his lackey or something? Okay, Grant. Bitch. Huh. How'd he lose the eye? It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you. Big bad one. Oh, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Not exactly comfortable with it either, but... Hey, you play the hand you're dealt. Well, some folks are forced to play with shit. That's a lovely <laughs> image. Guess you want to know about the girl. Amongst other things, sure. I don't think he did it. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was she sure is, of it. yeah. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. But she doesn't. She left her rich family. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. What are you talking about exactly? He was beating her up. Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. 
Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. Glass him? I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. I already know this story, Woody. You should. You were there. I'm not talking about Red Riding Hood. I'm here about Faith. She was murdered. What? So he Faith? thought... Who's that? The girl you were beaten oh. on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. He didn't know that was later. Faith. He thought that was Little Red Riding Hood? She's dead? Biggie, <laughs> listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, Sadly, right? Sadly, I do. They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking Why truth, Sheriff. Why are you covering Sheriff. for him, bro? You see? Bigby, please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop. This isn't what I want. Whoa. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody. Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. When they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? If you see random cuts, it's because I had to, I had to pause real quick. Uh, it's not like that. There are problems with the way things go. I get it, but that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that oh. bitch Snow White looking right <laughs> past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before. I don't want to throw the first punch. And well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. Oh, okay, I don't have a choice. <laughs> that all you got? Seemed to be enough. <laughs> don't be so sure. Oh, God. He's not in his fable form. Oh, good. Oh, God. What are you, bro? Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the ladies. Don't worry about me. Oh, great. Yeah, she's a... Oh, God. Is he gonna help me, woodsman? Oh, shit. Oh, God damn. Ah. Oof. Big B. Ouch. Might have to go under our werewolf form. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh god, oh god. Okay, this is really like, I'm just trying my best here. Everything's happening so fast. Ooh. Ow. Ow. Oh god. Werewolf form? What is he? Oh shit! Let's go! Let's go! Oh shit! Dang! This is not good, but it feels- feels good. Ooh. I should have included this in the last episode, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, that's why his eyes- Oh god. I don't know if I want to kill him, but... Self-defense. Ow. He's had enough. Bro, tear off his arm. Let's uh, let's not. Let's not. 
We're trying to be a good guy. Come on, Big B. Oof. Hey, you guys pushed me. Chose Whiskey. to walk away. <laughs> you guys pushed him. Oh, shit. Double. I tried everything I could to make you stop. Oh, I guess that solves it. Send the bill to Crane. Just... Shit. It's not like you were gonna pay for it anyway. Oh. Oh, damn it. Well, I tried. I tried to pay. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Yeah, I didn't tear his air arm off. Ron and be worse. He started it. Oh, uh, no. No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out that you killed that girl, well, you know what that means. Werewolf time. <laughs> All right. I got a hundred bucks for Tweedle, the first Tweedle Tweedle can tell me something about a girl name. <laughs> oh, <fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, he's crying. Come on, bro, I left your arms intact. Whoa, what? Oh no, we had to choose who to go after! Shit! No! No! Ah. Duh, I don't know who to choose! No! Ah. This guy! Fuck, man! That's not necessary! Shit. He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. We already let him get away I once. Do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Nah, I don't know if I made the right choice. But... Oh, the lighting. Whoa, what happened? What happened? Jeez. I don't know if I made the right choice or not. Anything stupid, uh. and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. What happened? Snow? Oh god, please don't tell me she's hurt. Oh no. Is Snow White dead? No, 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 no. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Is Beauty dead? Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, who is it? No! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! No! Why? Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Serial killer. Oh. Oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us? Wait. The woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. <sighs> I found out where she's been staying. 
I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks for not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. Uh, what did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. I don't want all these spoilers. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? Oh, shit. Smoke and mirrors. God damn it. Snow. I didn't want her to die. Okay. <laughs> I should have included that in the first episode. I'm sorry I didn't. I really am. But I'm going to try and finish these, or episode two today to make it up for you guys. I'm really, really sorry. But uh, I really should have finished it. But I was really running out of time last episode. I feel like my reaction wouldn't have been as, like, invested. But, oh, God. I feel so bad. Nah, did you give Faith your money? Yes, I did. All right, we already went through these a little bit. Who'd you arrest? When it came down to the wire, you and 68% of... 68.7% of players made sure Tweedledee didn't get away. Yeah, because it just made the most sense. I mean, we already... I don't know. Oh, man. I can't believe Snow died. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. I really thought it was Beauty, because, like, Beast was there, but... I mean, my first reaction was something happened to Snow, but I was like, no, they're not gonna kill her, right? No, they did. Oh my god. I'm so mad. Why does every love interest for Big B get hurt? Why? Ugh. All right. Um, also, it looks like there's nudity in this, so I might have to blur some stuff out. Didn't know that there was nudity. Uh, my bad. So... Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! Right, let's skip this. Okay. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, I feel like she's gonna be is, next. Between you. Subject, you are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I'm so angry that she died. Oh, no. I'm, uh, I'm glad I've captured these guys, though. So. <sighs> Man, Warner Bros. I didn't know that they were part of this. Man. We have to look at that right now. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. Oh God, I have to if answer you just questions. Cooperate and answer the questions. You can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? Bad. Thanks. I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look, I know what you must be going through. Sure. <laughs> really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... Let's just answer questions, then we can leave. Figure I'm it out. Trying to help you, Big B. Okay, okay. Let's just be Always honest. With you cops, Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? 
Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Didn't think so. Damn. Your nose is bleeding. Whoa. Did he know that before it was bleeding? I missed a spot. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something? What's going on? Do you hear that? <gasps> Tweedledee? <laughs> Please. Please. What's going on? Um... What? We have to go, now! Oh shit, did you just kill- What did you do to her? She'll be fine. Is that his power? It's just a memory wipe spell. Oh. Very expensive, but it works. The whole oh. station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Jeez. Well, hurry up. <sighs> okay, she's still breathing. They're all fine. I. Jeez. Okay. I mean, but what about they were recording him? Right? Did that wipe the. <laughs> The tapes? Man, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, you were a dick to her though, boss. <clears throat> Ignore him. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. Oh. As you're doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this maze. Well, he was involved in other shit, bro. He has a brother. Beard's currently interrogating him. And he hasn't said anything useful. And, Big B, we have to tread carefully here. We can't implicate an innocent man. And people are already worried about your conduct. He's working for somebody. And whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. It kind of does, though, right? He was, he's been at, like, every crime scene that we've been at. Except for... Faith, I guess. But still. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. Do you? It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You were an asshole to her. What are you talking about? I don't buy that. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. She don't really care. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. I'll try to be nice, but still. Our stories used to be I should so be simple. nice. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she uh, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. What if Crane I don't is behind know why, us? But I'd like to know that she was. I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to 
had to put an end to this. It's yeah, bro. What do you think I'm trying to do? Days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. <laughs> you can't blame him, man. You can't. Right to an attorney. Oh. That's not a very good answer, is it? Wait, what? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. <laughs> His face. Look, what the hell do you think you're doing? Wait, what? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. Okay, maybe he's not no a violence. crime lord. <laughs> Whatever you say, Ichabod. Yeah, he used, he used to be. But he's shady as hell. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Shh. I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Sure as hell know something you about it. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you. So was Woodsman. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Back in the alley, you mentioned your employer. Who is it? Who are you working for? <laughs> Why? You looking to change your occupation? I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. <laughs> Let's get to know each other. Come on, bro. I'm so upset. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. Snow was murdered, D. She was important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. You know something, bro. You know who you're working Just for. Tell me who your employer is. I really thought it was Bluebeard. I'd like to help you, but I can't. My brother and I, we got a thing about loyalty. Yeah, we do our job and we keep our mouths shut. If we don't hold up our end, we don't get paid. Your brother? <laughs> Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. I forgot about him. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Oh, can I have the money, though? You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Is maybe... Pocket the money. Is maybe that's Faith's money that she needed? So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find Her something. cloak? <laughs> cool. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Use. Just let me go, all right? I don't have any answers for you. You just carry this around? 
Always handy that way. Is it not whiskey? I couldn't hurt, I guess. Maybe that'll loosen them up. <laughs> Look, Big B, this is going Dude, to work. let me do Don't my you thing. Want to find out what happened to those girls, to Snow White. I'm working. Uh, let me handle this. I'm working, bro. Come on, D. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. Probably stole I mean, something from you him. You know what she did for a living, right? She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Hell, I ain't got nothing worth taking. Your boss? <laughs> Slipped up again, bro. Well, that brings me back to my first question. Who are you working for? You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. What about the cigar? He's being too nice to him. It's a smart strategy. Be patient. Myron? Why does it say Myron? <laughs> okay, well, I'm I didn't... saving that. Can I burn him with the... This is really... What's the point of this? I don't know yeah. what I'm doing. Come on. Yeah, all right. We gotta be nice to him, right? Maybe... Wanna see a trick? <clears throat> okay, well that didn't work. <laughs> Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look. You're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. At least, you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. Why doesn't she like What's me? What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bro. Bluebeard? And not getting any answers from him this way. Am I do- I don't know if I'm so doing it wrong. is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Dang. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Immensely. Oh shit. Oh god. Whoa. Oh god. Oh, L2. L2, not R2. What am I doing? Bro, chill the frick out. Chill the frick out, bro. I was doing my thing. Wait, what? Wait. What's going on? Wait. What is. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Snow. Wait. That can't- it's gotta be an illusion or something. What? Sorry. Oh my god, what an intro. God, what in the world? <laughs> She's alive? No, it can't be. It can't be. Bro, <laughs> what? What even? I didn't know if I should hit him or not. I was being really nice to him. But I don't want to be the bad guy, you know? Like, every time I lose control, I feel like people are more and more scared of Bigby. And we gotta be on the public's good side. And Crane's good side, even though I was kind of ignoring him in the car. But, uh... He seemed like he was chatting, despite me not hitting him. Smoke and mirrors. So is that all an illusion? <sighs> I don't know what her power is exactly. Like, cause I'm pretty sure that's just her true form, the one that she's in right now. But what the fuck? <laughs> what even? What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? How are you still alive? Abusing a prisoner like that. I wasn't abusing I him. Thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it I okay. wasn't abusing him. <laughs> I was literally giving him a cigar and whiskey. Girl, 
I hope it was worth your time. Girl, <laughs> what? Okay, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. Yeah. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. What? What? Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're uh, not dead. Me too. <laughs> I just want to get to the bottom of this. I am so I just feel like confused. What is it? I just I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. Yeah. And maybe that's why she was killed. Said that. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. Oh! I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Oh. Uh... Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting girl, around. Girl, someone wants you dead. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Right. So, someone killed a girl that wasn't Snow, but was glamoured to look like her because she looks like Faith? Breaking point. My camera's about to die. Hopefully I can get to a point where I can pause it real fast. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. Oh. I, I want to be there. Oh, okay. Hey, Buffkin. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Okay. We've had so many twists in this one episode. First, Snow was dead. Now she's not. Now it was glamour to look like her. It was just a girl that looked really similar. And then... But why? <laughs> why, though? Can we do anything with this lamp yet? Please. Please give me a wish. <laughs> well, that's interesting, though. Um... Was there always a hanging man back there? Hello? Is anyone else gonna acknowledge that? I don't wanna do anything with that yet. So was that whole trailer for this episode, like, fake? Perfume bottle. <laughs> Snow's perfume. Or is Snow actually dead? And this is a fake. This is a fake Snow. What if they're just using her image right now? She's actually dead. And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Hmm. Pity these can't solve murders. Well, that's appropriate. <laughs> Hmm. Beauty and Beast. 
Always putting on a show for each other. Seems like not much has changed between me and Woody. I guess not, but they were kind of on good-ish terms at the bar. I meant what I said, Snow. <sighs> I will get to the bottom of this. Okay. Hey, guys. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? No. I I have to talk to okay. When you're ready. Okay. I have to talk to Toad. Hey guys. Oh, that's enough. Mira, finish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'll catch you on the shitter. Right here, bro. I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting there a long time. You're such a liar, freaking dude. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Aww. Is that Groot on his shirt? Stock thing. <laughs> I think that's like a... It's okay. Are you... okay? You gotta be nice to this kid. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> Without the head? It's okay, son. Is this gonna backfire? Oh god, yeah. Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. Okay. The lady Oops. <laughs> fell in. But but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too. Yikes. Cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts <laughs> that's messed Cinder up blocks tied to her ankles is there more tj <laughs> is it true you know when people are lying i heard you could do that that's why you're the sheriff yeah part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying i'm really good at it is there something Oh god, else you <laughs> don't remember that. Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. You're not in trouble. Look, Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. <laughs> Leave him alone. He's traumatized. He went through so a lot. So you didn't stay underwater. I don't know if anyone saw me, but but someone said stop laughing, and then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I stop could. Stop laughing. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Did you hear anyone laughing? No. Did you see who it was? No! Okay. <laughs> Sheriff. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. I shouldn't grow him. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. 
<laughs> okay, you can go. I probably should have asked him more, but... Uh... Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. You did a good job, kid. Aw. Come on, then. If we build a good relationship, maybe he'll remember something later and want to tell us. Hopeful. <laughs> Glass half that full. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> well, thanks. You want to go look at the body now? Yeah. Come on. Wait! Oh, shit! I should have talked to the mirror! Oh my god! I goodness. should have talked to the mirror! I almost forgot. Oh, crap! I should talk to the mirror! Should have asked him who he was talking to. Mm. I don't know if he would have told us, though. He doesn't like us very much. Crap. I feel like I'm missing so much. Switching well. Ooh. Is this where they send bad fables? Yikes. Oh. I should look at this. I haven't looked at this in a little while. Okay. Oh, is this Bigby's mercy? In the days leading up to the exodus, um, the Big Bad Wolf hunted armies of men and goblins in the Black Forest. These invading forces had driven off the great beast's preferred quarry, and their own flesh was rotten with corruption. Hardly a suitable replacement. He made it his game to destroy their camps, devour their night watchmen, and disrupt their supply trains while sparing their prisoners. One day, he broke their ranks and discovered a particular woman they held captive. Her skin was white as snow, but her hair was dark as the night sky. He approached her, and she, knowing no sword could match the giant wolf's power, bravely placed her shackles in the beast's mouth. Huh. He freed her, but years would pass before the two met again in the Mundi world. So they do have a past like that. That's interesting. Bluebeard's mercy. Bluebeard's last wife. After a long line of marriages resulting in mysterious disappearances, Bluebeard's last wife in the homelands was naturally suspicious of him. One day he departed on business, leaving her alone in his estate. He gave her free reign of all the rooms, but made her promise not to open the closet on the ground floor. She defied him, of course, and discovered the location of his missing wives. When Bluebeard returned, he knew he must kill her before she revealed his murderous secret. She persuaded him to allow her a moment to pray, which he reluctantly granted. This small mercy gave her brothers time to arrive and rescue her, and Bluebeard's crimes were exposed. Wow. Huh. Yikes. Yeah, he's messed up, man. Also, as soon as you say, like, don't open that door, and you'll be fine. Okay, peace out. Everyone's gonna want to look in the door. Why don't you just lock it and then dip? Um, the witching well. The Witching Well is located in a chamber inside the Woodland Building, where it is used to dispose of things meant never to be seen again. Dead fables are committed to its depths, as are the most unredeemable criminals. No one is entirely sure what lies at the bottom of the well, nor indeed if it has a bottom at all, but it is widely assumed to be the passageway to the final resting place. We also have these two. Holly, Trip Trap Owner. Holly is a no-nonsense kind of troll and the owner of the Trip Trap Bar. She is glamoured to appear human, but her patrons know better. Holly takes good care of her regulars, often down, downtrodden fables with little despair, but she has no patience for the Fable Town government and has done nothing to her to locate her missing sister. Grendel. Drifter. Grendel just wants to be left alone. In the old days, he terrorized Norse mead halls, but lately he can be found occupying a stool in various quiet, dumpy bars around New York. He hates the noise of the city, but must work there to afford his glamour. Despite his gruff bearing, his fiercely, he's fiercely loyal to those who learn to offer him the space and silence he deserves. Talking to him is like watching a time bomb tick down. It's only a matter of time. Oh, well, that's interesting. We can see which ones unlock. I missed one. Shit. So these ones are chapter two. I missed one. No. What did I miss? Maybe it was from a decision that I made. I don't know. I feel like I really missed a lot with TJ, but again, not much I can do. Oh. Yikes.
What if that really is snow, though? Wow. I didn't realize... I've never seen her face before now. You gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just... a little... strange. To say the least? The glamour is so effective, it's... invasive. But... Just Look at her do feet. what you need to do. Her feet where the rope was tied. The cinder blocks. Oh, huh. brooch. Does she have that? I don't think she has that. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Yeah. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Thanks, Buffkin. <laughs> Fat load of help you are. Uh. Looks just like Faith's did. Yeah. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Okay. I'm surprised the glamour hasn't worn off by now. Or if it has. Oh, okay. She's obviously holding something. Whoa. Wouldn't it wear off once they die? Track marks. Or I guess she used Monday drugs. Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Yeah, so... Unless someone is making glamours Yeah, they talked about that. It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. Hmm. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Hmm. Interesting. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. So where's the rest of Faith's body, you know? So I'm wondering if um, this lady is from, I mean, we saw in the trailer of like this red light district almost. Um, and it almost seems like Faith was a part of that. And this girl probably was too. So I'm guessing whoever they were working for, maybe they were working as prostitutes for this club for this company I don't know you're right these buttons are wrong I wonder how does it wear off though what open her coat snow do you mind if I uh, open her coat Bigby just let me do it okay Ah, don't look, guys. <laughs> don't look. Oh, okay. It's not you. <laughs> it's not you, Snow. It's just a body. But it was someone. That's kind of a bad thing I'm to sorry, say. I'm sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Um. Her glamour is defective. Oh. Defective. We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. There was something in her hand. Yes. I didn't know there was a time limit. I'm not done here, dude. We should keep going. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to look at this before... Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. A ring? <laughs> Ooh. Can 
Can I go back to it? What are you doing? Only way to find out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but we gotta know. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. Weird. Okay, I know it's kind of immoral, but we gotta do what you gotta do. Oh shit, they knew- what they knew what perfume she wears. It's your perfume. How did you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this, Nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. <laughs> Looks like someone picked it out for her. Yeah. So, someone gave her instructions. Yo, what if it is Crane? Oh shit, maybe it's bold of me to assume that, but uh... I mean, he would know what perfume she wears if it's right on her desk. Uh, should I be looking at this? <laughs> I don't think it really matters, right, Big B? Wearing silk lingerie, Snow. Big B. Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. I've seen things like this Also, before. isn't that lace, not silk? It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure oh. it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You worry too much, Crane. <laughs> what? There's something in here. How do we open it? Um... I'm not sure yet. Something to do with these rings here. Oh. What is that? Huh. Do they want a deer on it? Oh! A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Whoa. Oh. So, like, they need bits of her for ingredients? To, like, make the spell happen? Is that... It's your hair. Dang. Someone was thorough. What if it's Crane and Buffkin? <laughs> I'm really just like... Saying some bullshit stuff right now. I might be right though, who knows? Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My Aww. sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? Oh, shit. Yeah, we're off. She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? Hmm. I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She oh, was no. reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. Oh. We have to go tell Holly. Crap. Wait. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. That's not the same thing. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. 
but we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. I want to be. I want to be friends again, and it is her choice. I just don't trust Crane. I don't trust him. I don't. I don't. Not at all. Because think about it. Who would have close ass access to her perfume, her hair? This whole thing is complete she's working bullshit. With her. And always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? Yeah, uh, we gotta tell her about it. from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know <sighs> where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Jack and the Beanstalk? I don't know. <laughs> Does he turn into a beanstalk? <laughs> no. Probably not. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. Hey, homie. Hey, at least we're good. <laughs> yeah, he's scared of me now, bitch. <laughs> Aww. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Again. Okay. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. Bro, who it's are you? It's kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Kawabunga looking Every ass. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet <laughs> somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? It is Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk, isn't it? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. Or not. All of us. I don't know. At the bar, here. About you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm Aww. dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. Do they have matching tattoos? It's a fable, right? I don't want to tell him uh, anything. Everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. What the hell, Crane? Well, sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. They got it Baby, all mixed come up. Come on, you can't be so dumb as Jack, to. Jack, find the off button now. I didn't torture him what at is all. It with you two, you and Gran are all. Let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Heck, got your nerve. What happened? They saw what, what happened? happened. I'm tired. Is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy. Ah, fuck. What'd I do? Oh, it's an shit. Honest question. I don't want to punch him. Okay. Go okay. fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. <laughs> I was right. gonna learn some new lines. Let me tell you. Sorry, right, but then. he was Actually, being a little shit. Have there been any updates on my sister? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Sorry, girl. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Bruh, this is not the time. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? You'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been saved. She might have been cared for. You're gonna she break that. Been... It's her sister, bro. All right, clear out. Give her some room. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. She has a right to be pissed. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. 
It should have been you, and it wasn't. Damn. That's fucking mean. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? He seems... I mean, he's rough around the edges, obviously, but he's, you know, he's there for his friends. I'm not saying he's the best dude in the world, but... I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. Hmm. She was into some rough stuff. She was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Oh, shit. Eventually, she the used only her... people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. Oh, my God. She used Snow White's appearance Georgie to do with that? All those fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, Georgie. Really. Polly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um... Is there anything we can do to... No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start ah, making the necessary shit. preparations. Alright? Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Ah. It's only right, but we might need it. Pit club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. It just made everything easier. Cool. Look at me being good. So she- I can't believe she used Snow White's body to be a hooker, but sisters. But why use- I mean, why would you need her perfume? Huh. I don't know. I don't know if I should have promised her, her the body, because they might have needed that. Where's snow? Where's snow? Okay, I think there's gonna be boobies in this part, guys, so look away. <laughs> oh my god, she has a ribbon, just like Faith. Wait a minute. Oh. Just like Faith. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. Girl. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business um. or pleasure? I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, but the club's closed. <laughs> Not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. Hmm. I should warn you that 
Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. I might have to blur some stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Oh god. I want to check the Book of Fables. So she- Face was obviously working here. I'm surprised, uh, Holly's sister didn't have Welcome to ribbon the on. And pie, where we cater to the diverse taste of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Did you know Lily? She worked here? <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. God. Look away, guys. Ah. <laughs> Why is he so pissed? What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. I guess. It's your face. Oh my like god. Smile. You never smile. Bro. How many times do I have to say it? My lord. Wait, I'm looking around. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Oh, it's you. We're closed. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. Hey. For fuck's sake. You, stay bro. right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. That. Damn. Oh my god. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Bro. Tell you what, come back after midnight maybe. I can hook you up. Or uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me. Do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? You don't know me. You don't know me. Okay, mysterious lone wolf. Right, I got you. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Are you hitting on me? <laughs> oh, God. Can this girl, like... Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Is she still standing? Look, I know why you're here. When did you hear? Who told you? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. Uh, it's their own business. It's sick. Ha! That's quaint. Especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide <laughs> a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. I'm not the one wearing a fedora. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Show the glamour box. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Hmm. Can we talk to this girl? I feel like she knows something. We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. Are we gonna Get fight? Away. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? One more time. Who hired her? 
Whoa, <laughs> bro. Oh, no, fuck. Dude, I can take this guy in one hit. Come on. You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Can we talk to oh, her instead? Bastard fucking shit. You proud of yourself, mate. Who's the guy in the proud back? Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Where the hell are you, bro? Fucking Buzz Lightyear? Hans. Hans, oh. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Bro. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills. Oh, shit. And have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey. Can we hit him with that? personal property. Bro, I don't care. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Wait, did I hit the wrong thing by accident? Tell me about the book. Oh, okay. <laughs> you haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now. I just I, Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Maybe Hans I can is confused him. again. Don't even think about it. He's scared. Look, maybe Georgie, that's enough. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Bro. He was literally talking Do about not it. Not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. I don't... I should hurt him, to be honest. Oh god, my camera's about Give to die. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I'm not gonna destroy anything. I've come this far. <laughs> I really should have. Stand back. All right, all right, all right. Won't forget that. Oh god. Nice. Okay, I made it with. I got it without destroying Logie, anything. Come on, then. Oh, hell yeah. Prick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. <sighs> okay. Did it without destroying anything. See, I told you guys I'm good, Big B. All I need to do is be intimidating. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie. Who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Big B. Yeah, I think so. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths, and Joneses, and Mr. X-types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. 
I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Yeah, well, you can complain all you want, because I didn't break anything, bro. Just didn't do anything. Yeah, that's right. Complain all you want. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. Talk to Crane, I don't care. Eh. I don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, alright? Oh god, these controls, bro. No, I don't want to. He doesn't really have anything to complain about. Fine, I'll hold. <laughs> man just said, I'm, go I'm going to talk to the manager. Georgie. <laughs> Bro, want me to smash your phone? Fifty-eight. My money! Might be useful. I don't know if I should have done that. But that was my money. Okay, only take what we what we gave her. Alright. Why does he put it there? What's that? Interesting. I don't know if I should have taken my money back, but you know what, it's fine. Porgy. It's Georgie Porgy. <laughs> Jeez, that is real name. <laughs> Georgie Porgy? Bro, what? Come on now. Faith. Oh. Her stuff. Hold on, I'll look at that in a sec. Cosmetics. Note. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over oh. to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. So maybe they killed Faith instead of Lily by accident? No. Hmm. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith. Hmm. Lock's been busted open. I wonder what was inside of it. So is that. Broken open. Huh. But there isn't even a lock. Why would they need to do that? Alright, I already looked at this, right? <laughs> we can put on lipstick. Can we talk to Hans? Excuse me. Oh, is this a girl? I heard hey. you out there. Yeah, but I didn't break anything, right? You're not scared of me. I seeing you here before. Uh, I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. Lost cat! <laughs> Not again! Hmm. You're trying to place me. A little they bit. used to call me the Little Mermaid. No way! Once upon a time. Does that help? You have legs. Kind of glamour? Oh my god. No, they're real. <laughs> Do you like them? They cost me a lot. <laughs> Ariel's a stripper now? <laughs> Bro, what? My name is Nerissa. Oh. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of Why do you hold you your do. lipstick like that? I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Can you tell me where you get the ribbon from? Um... Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. 
I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's um, how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? Are they under a spell? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Oh, shit. They are under a spell. They literally can't tell him. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Uh, I might get information. <sighs> oh, I see. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Uh... This isn't enough, but it's all I've got. <laughs> I keep giving in to all the freaking girls I see. Oh my god. Wait I should have taken the other money. Oh my god. <laughs> I keep giving. I shouldn't give any more girls my money because the more. Every time I do, they all end up dead. Man. Two oh four. Not two oh seven. You'll think of something. I guess so. The open arms. Hmm. Is that this what is they're where all they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you. Huh. I wonder who put them made them cry. I think I did okay. I wonder what made them, or who's making them not say anything. Oh my god. <laughs> you have fun, officer? Interesting. The Bronx. Not somewhere I would like to be alone at night, <laughs> that's for sure. Hmm. Anyone here? Rooms or anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Yeah, goddamn. Gross. They should probably repair that. Am I looking at? Is a wire cut? Oh, jeez. Hello? Anyone here? Want it by the hour or for the whole night? A beauty? I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. Oh my god. So, now you know. I know That's I should secret. have told somebody. But Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. All of our friends live at the Woodlands. He'd be mortified. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Uh, what if she gets hurt in this area because I didn't oh, say anything? you have a key. Someone else was murdered mm -hmm. last night. I, I shouldn't have done that. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes, the... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... 
She came off a tad intimidating. Man, oh, I should have never... Uh, this is the worst place for her to work. Um, I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Huh. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first. This is right? the worst place for her to work. I tried. Hmm... Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith. <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I <laughs> saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. She should really tell her husband. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I, I have such a bad feeling about it. I need a fresh set. But, I mean... Listen, Everyone baby, that's been dying. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Kinda. Do you mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Here. Oh my god. Oh. Well, I think we know what's going on in there. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I had to mute that. I don't know. Well, nothing's going on in there. I have the key to 204, but do I really want to go in there? I don't know. Hold on. I want to go in 207. Okay. Goodness gracious, they're still going, man. Wow. Oh, God. Okay. Cover your ears, people. Do I have to talk to her first? You don't really have to stay up here with me. Yes, I do. <laughs> can hear it in the background. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus. This one is... to these rooms. Wait, no, no. You had a key. that's, oh, Not that's... to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. That's 204, I mean, right? What if someone's in there? You can't just go barging in. I'm investigating a murder. I've got to check out all the angles. Wait, is that, is that not 204? Well, I thought guess. I have the key to 204. Wait a minute. Should I not have done this? It's two. Oh god, that's 203. That's not it. I don't want to go in here. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Sorry. Jesus Christ, you're gonna get me fired. I need this job. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Wait. Wait, I don't know. I thought that was 204. Oh my god, no, I'm so stupid. No. 
Okay, wait. You need to let me in here, though. For real. <laughs> For real this time. <laughs> you had to let me in. You gotta let me in this one. 207. Open this one. I have the key for the other one. I just have to make sure Bell's around. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? Oh. How could you do this to me? No. Wait, we're not. No. Wait a minute. We're not cheating on How each other. How could you do this? We've been together no. through everything. I took care of you. I love. It's not what you think. Please. It's You're really not. You're cheating on me. With him? It's really not. No, it's really no, not. Beast, I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure oh God. you help each other just great. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me. Oh, God. Oh, what no. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Bro, it's Please not bad. Listen that. to me. There's nothing going on. I'm mad. <laughs> Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! It's stop, not stop it, bro! It. It's Is not. this you staying out of it? I thought I could trust you! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Wait, Beast. shit. Should I have gone in the other room? No! Did I miss the whole room? Ah. Oh god. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! <laughs> Bro, Let's calm down. Wife, yeah, I know. I told you. I don't want to fight you, bro. Stop. Oh no, we're turning. No. Beast. Leave it be. This is my fault. Beast, no. Understand. Oh god. Oh god. I hit triangle. Shit. I should have looked in the room. Oh my god. 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 Can we stop? I don't want to hit him. Bigby, no. Don't hurt him. Don't. Don't. Oh, his eyes. Oh god. You ruined everything! I did it, bro! My fucking wife! <gasps> oh thanks! Thank you! <sighs> Shit! Thank you for opening what the door. Have you done? Thank you. Big B. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, <gasps> you don't want to see this. Oh god. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work <laughs> the front desk. I... So that's... Yeah. yeah. Still, this is no place <laughs> for someone like you. I mean, look. Do you remember who rented this room last night? He's got a point, too. I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just sorry do about what your he eyes, says. bro. I'll explain later, okay? When, she's not cheating on you, bro. Baby, oh my god. What kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Okay. Cassette player. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built in cassette player? I think so, yes. Right, interesting. Obviously, the flower from Lily matched those. <laughs> Apple. Do you smell something? 
No. Just Apple. Like from Snow White? Interesting. Weird. But interesting. Is that from the club? What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Yeah. Or about the Mundy version of her story. Is someone anyway. obsessed with her? Beautiful. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Huh. What is trying to figure out what apple? You made Lily bite the apple. I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. That would explain the one we found on the floor. Yeah. Oh no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of here. course. That makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple. Which is really creepy when you think about it. You know she almost died when... Hmm. <laughs> uh... You know. Was she breathing? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Was she breathing? Weird. Huh. Very, very weird. God. Ashtray. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently not. Oh, Jinx, I almost said that. Oh, there's the perfume. <sighs> Bottle. He brought wine. Classy. Is that the shit that oh, Crane girl. was drinking? Am I right about the Crane thing? Guys. It's the same brand. Where else would he got the storybook to? I mean, maybe they're common. Just unbelievable. Weird, weird, weird. For my arrival. What? Can we play it in the cassette tape? Is Tweedledum in here? <laughs> oh, jeez. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh, no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Hmm. Maybe... What? What are you thinking? He could be a cross-dresser. Looks like a snow costume. This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. Oh, it surrounded right. her by it's flowers. The same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. That's what I'm saying! How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. I didn't have enough time to think it through. <laughs> she must have been so scared. You can play the cassette. Hold on. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. Hmm. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Girl, you're not helping. <laughs> Mine's me of Snow's coffin. It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. Yeah. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded by flowers. Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. You're right. The bed is the coffin. He's acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book yeah. with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> so he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. 
Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Killed her. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. I'm not though. I'm not done. I need the cassette. Can we look in 204, too? Because I totally missed that room. Oh, shit. Are those pictures of the dead girl? <gasps> Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Hmm. Oh, no. Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. Gaston? <laughs> His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. Actually, Snow. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. <gasps> I freaking called it! I called it, I called it, I called it! <laughs> I freaking called it, dude! Oh my god! Bro, I called it. <laughs> Yes! Yes! I'm a detective! I'm a fucking detective. <laughs> oh my god. Next time. He could be after you now. Good! I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel! Oh my god. I didn't think we'd discover it so fast, but... Dude. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. I got a brain. You're starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Bruh. Bruh. Obviously, <laughs> there will have to be some changes. What? Hello, Big B. What? Take care of it, Big B. Or I'll take care of it for you. Girl, don't be mad at me. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, how did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 60.9% of players sympathize with him. Shouldn't have done that. How did you treat the murder suspect? You and 62.4% of players persuaded him to talk. Did you let Snow to come did you let Snow come with you to the trip trap? 91.9% .9 of players let her make her own decision. Um, Georgie Porgy. I cannot get over his name. You and 69.9% .9 of players didn't hit Georgie. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 77.8% of players opted not to hit Beast a second time. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that means I'm going to leave this episode off here. I'll let the credits play for now. Well, actually, no. Let's go to the main menu. Let's go. All right, I'm going to leave this episode off here, guys. I am so proud of myself for calling it. I called it, I don't know when I called it, probably beginning of this episode-ish when we were talking. Just the way he was acting around the corpse was strange to me at first. And I don't know, you could... There's something weird about him. I don't know what for sure clued me into him. Um, but I did have a feeling, especially when we saw the wine on the table, I was like, oh shit, it's gotta be him. That's the same wine bottle. I don't know. I just, I can't believe I called it. I'm so proud of myself. But I guess it makes sense. Someone is obsessed with Snow to the point where he's killing people that look like her. And it's so funny at the beginning of the first episode when we saw Snow, I was like, oh my god, is that the girl? Like, I thought that was the same girl at first. It really threw me off. So, the the two of them really look similar. So, I guess Crane is just acting out his fantasy for Snow White? It's really odd and really disturbing that he is so obsessed with her. I mean, he's been stalking her for a year or more now. He took pictures of her and Bigby and like, man, that's really weird. So, he's continually like hiring out these prostitutes, not even really to sleep with them, just to reenact this scenario. I mean, he obviously killed Lily, 
but we don't know for sure if he killed Faith. So, I don't know. Very strange. I really should have finished the first episode in the last part in my last video. I'm really sorry that I didn't. I made you guys wait for that finale. Oh, shit. I don't know if I should just include it in the first episode and then, and then make this whole its own thing. I don't know. I don't know, but I won't do it again. I won't do it again. But yeah, there, geez, a lot going on in this part, guys. My camera's about to die, so I'll wrap this up. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited to continue this game. It's so good. I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, I'll pick this up very, very soon. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did or subscribe if you're new, because I'd love to have you stick around and watch me play some video games. I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. Thank you.